Now we're going to uh, let you stretch your bones a little bit. We're going to go on a little walking tour with the wonderful Andreas Kraft. There he is, our lovely young man. Andreas is a, a grandson of Hardy Kraft, who you will meet later, and who's also one of our stars of our film. And Andreas is going to take us all together. We thought of splitting you up and say, no, 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 we can herd everybody together. So don't lose sight of Andreas, because he's going to take us through the village, and our first stop will be the wonderful Mystic Schoolhouse. So those of you that are just arriving, don't sit down, because we're going for a walk. <laughs> so Andreas will will meet us out in front, and uh, and away we go. Okay, thank you, Heather. Uh, many years ago, I discovered this treasure trove of, of uh, artifacts in the Walbridge house. And of course, Francis Walbridge was very, very much alive and willing to tell me about everything, as long as I, was, as long as I would listen to her for days and days, <laughs> which, I, which I did. <laughs> and. Uh, so she explained to me the, the whole uh, ancestry of the wall bridges as far back as she knew and records told, and uh, how, they had, how they had come to uh, uh, Lower Canada, how they had come to Quebec in uh, 18, 1842 and taken up residence on, on, on this property here. And they're, and they're still here. These are some of their earlier artifacts. This is the school bell that was indeed used in this school. And these are various bells that they used at home, like the dinner bell and calling people into the house bell. <laughs> okay, away we go. All right, uh, so before we head to the barn, I'd like to present to you uh, this house here. Uh, which was uh, built by uh, Solomon Walbridge in the uh, 1840s, basically. Uh, so before the construction of the barn. Uh, so it's a, another uh, historical monument of uh, Mystic. And uh, then, uh, well, you guys uh, feel free to mm -hmm. look at it, and then we'll uh, head to the barn. This was also yeah. his inn. The inn, yes. And he ran it as a post office oh. and oh, a okay. tavern as well. Okay, right. Right. So, so it was a busy place. Yeah. <laughs> so so head to the, the barn now. Okay. All right, are we ready? Welcome everyone to the Walbridge Barn. The barn itself was built in 1881 and worked for the railroad. And in working for the railroad, we discovered that a lot of the trains would come in to be repaired and the locomotives would go like on a turntable. And they'd come back and thought, geez, it's a really smart idea. Stayed in the States, his family was still here. And then the war was declared the North against the South, and they said to him, you're in Vermont, so you're going to fight for the North. He goes, no, I'm going home, I'm Canadian. So he came back here, and the government gave him 200 acres of land here, right in the Mystic area. So he established himself here. The little white house is right up at the corner, was the first little house that they had. And then afterwards, he decided that he'd build that barn and a bigger house. And the thing of the railway came to mind again. He said, I'm going to build a different barn where I can come in with my wagons and my horses, put them on the turntable, do the hay, and they can come back. So he built this barn, which is the only 12-sided barn in Quebec. And what would happen is the horses would come here, like I said, with the wagon and the hay, and it would all be distributed. The upstairs, you see the, like the forks and everything? It was all operated by, yes, not hydraulics, hydronics. Because he had a little uh, stream in the back that he blocked up and he made a, a lake out of it. So all of it worked with that. So then they'd come out from there and the horses would go back and the hay would be put away. The horses lived there in the first little place and the cows were downstairs, but they were free roaming. So they weren't in stalls or anything. Then he built, 
He was not really a farmer, so he built a, he's more of an entrepreneur type thing, and he built a, um, excuse me, a foundry, and he built a sawmill, and he built a lot of, uh, like, wood stoves and equipment for the farmers and all kinds of different things that people could use. And he had <laughs> and, and um, she, she was ex especially excited to explain about this, which is called a spider. It has, you put it into the fireplace, um, it turns, and you can set your pot in it, in the fireplace, and then you can, you don't have to burn your hands, you can pull it, you can pull it out of the fire later. So th these, are, these are various things that were made in his foundry. Besides the large machinery, he also made household goods, like, like pots, pots and pans, a corn, a corn muffin, corn muffin maker. Uh, also on the table, there are die cuts which he advertised his products that he made in his foundry. For instance, this one is a mold, molding cutting machine. And there were, there were various things like stoves, uh, a steam engine, various articles of uh, farm equipment, and I believe there's even a steam engine. So this little place, Mystic was like a little quiet town and it became an industrial town when he was here because of so many things that he did. He had a beautiful, beautiful house, which unfortunately does not exist anymore. You just see as you go out, there's large stones and basically that's his house. Fortunately, the government took over the barn. In 2004, they decided to preserve it with the Walbridge Foundation and uh, they did a lot of preservation. They took out the second floor there so people who come into the museum could see better what was happening with the round table. A lot of it is original, like here. Same type of you know, floor is original. And when you go through, it's pretty much a self-guided tour. It's all old equipment, not necessarily his, but all old equipment are all around there. And then when you come back on this side, you come out there, right where we are, and you can see the story of the Walbridge family and what he did and what he accomplished. I mean, he was just a brilliant man. Too bad he's not here today. <laughs> so basically, that's, that's about it as he, you know, as he started. You can take the tour, take your time, go around, ask any questions. If we can answer, we'll be glad to answer. And uh, afterwards, you can go down to the basement. You go out by the, the door here, go to your left, and there's a screen door. You go down right into the basement. So Thank enjoy, you. everyone. Thank you. Thank you. You're very welcome. You're welcome. <laughs>